Well, let's continue New Horizons, the Animal Crossing game New Horizons. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Have you been enjoying so far? I don't know why I said it that way. It's come to my attention that a suspicious character is making the rounds of nearby islands. This individual is apparently peddling artworks and antiquities. Sometimes dubious authenticity and work. This goes to show we must all be careful of our bells, hmm? and when it comes to new vendors, be vigilant. That's all from me. Bye now. It's 21 over there. It was 25 here today, and it's currently 15. Which... It's not warm, but for a... For night time, it's pretty warm. It's like 10 o'clock at night, and it's like that. Oh yeah, I'm dressed like this. I forgot. Moose, I wanted to say thank you for the nice birthday present. So, I got you something in return. I hope you really like it. Keep in touch, and let's plan... On working out soon. In it to win it. Um, I mean, it's not how birthdays work, but sure. Zap suit? Oh, okay. <laughs> I can be the Red Ranger. Look at this. Two kinds of fried rice. I'm just living large. That works. Alright, we say goodbye to the warrior stash at last. Power Ranger, that's the idea. I mean, I don't have the actual helmet, but that's a close second. Like, this could be a wrestling outfit pretty easily. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, I already got a replacement. We're good. I was prepared for this. And Power Rangers were just massive, and I feel like... Oh, look. The cherries already. Um, they're just not to that level anymore. crazy thing is they sold quite a bunch of official Power Ranger stuff here. At the time I didn't know it was official but it looked like it was bootleg but because Power Rangers was based off the Japanese TV show that had been going for a much longer time and had way more seasons. So they were selling Power Ranger toys from those seasons here in Australia and people saw them as being fake because it just didn't look like the ones we saw on TV. But they were perfectly authentic. <laughs> Just not not quite what we were uh, used to, I guess. Oh, what's up? Oh, we're dressed. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering. Anyone tell you about reaction just yet, Vroom? No. I mean, like, when you feel full of joy and your body just starts moving on its own, like I'm doing now. Words ain't always up to snuff when it comes to expressing yourself. Sometimes only reaction will do. For times like that, you want to press that R and let everyone know how you feel. Easy, right? Okay. I'm going to tell the others to teach you any sweet reactions they know. And don't forget to hit them up. Um... Yeah, here's the thing. I still have Magilla Gorilla. See, I know who Magilla Gorilla is, but like... 
Even for us, Megillah Gorilla should be a very old reference. <laughs> it was like already borderline, should have been gone for ages. I know who Megillah... Megillah Gorilla, jeez. Megillah Megillah. Because when I couldn't sleep late at night, I would watch Boomerang. So they had Megillah Gorilla, Secret, Secret Squirrel, The Wacky Races, um, the old school Scooby Doo. Um, Top Cat. What else was on there? The Jetsons, the Flintstones. You have no idea what a, what a Megillah Gorilla is. It's the Hanna-Barbera thing. A weird DIY TV show I watched at 2am told me this, so I did. Here's the recipe. I put the recipe in the bottle so someone else could make it too. Be careful. When why the I? When you do it yourself. That's a joke. Okay, I got a wooden chest. No, I don't even remember, remember what kind of personality McGilla Gorilla had. There was also those those dogs. I forget their names, but it was a father and son dog couple, and they had a show. Like a, what were they? I think they were beagles. No, they weren't beagles. What were? I don't know. But father and son dog. Oh, the, the bridge is built, too. That's unfortunate. Got another tree here. All right, may as well get rid of this. Augie, Augie. It might have been Augie. I don't remember the fuzz. I don't know. It wasn't Droopy. Droopy Dog was like the depressed dog. Whoops. I think they wore green, I can't remember. Droopy was just annoying. Pretty sure it was Augie, you're probably right. I just remember some interaction they had, where like, they're solving a mystery and they're teaming up with other Hanna-Barbera characters. And they're just having this back and forth, like they're in some mysterious mansion. 
And, you know, the father dog is like, I have a funny feeling about this. And then one of the other Hanna-Barbera characters is like, well, I'm not laughing. And then he's like, not funny, haha, -ha, funny feeling. Say useless, useless shit in my mind, just... Why do I remember that? There was also a purple hippo and the horse quick draw McGraw. Maybe it was funny. It, it was not funny. <laughs> I don't know. And Baba Booey, or whatever the, the sidekick was called. Or Baba Louie, I can't remember. What about Gumby? Gumby was apparently my favorite show as to watch as a kid alongside with Pingu. So I know I know all about Gumby. Was just this show that oh the scam artist is here. Oh well, are you around from here? Hi, the name's Red. I work in sales, and you are Will. What a great name, intelligent, strong. I can already tell we're gonna be pals. Not not pals, family. Well, it's Will. It's a pleasure to meet you, Will. Hey, would you mind if I run an idea by you? So Shamblonia wants art, and I got art to sell. Might be something to this, but I couldn't just sell it to anyone. I need someone I could trust completely, as if they were family. And since we're basically cousins, and because I know you've got an eye for equality, I want it to be you. you look at a few things, I got both art and furniture, plus you get my cousin's discount, you in? Alright. I knew I could get on your cousin, this is absolutely the right choice. I've got my boat anchored off the northern shore. I'm almost done fixing the leaks, long story. Come have a look at what I'm selling. You won't regret it! Hey, I know we just met, but you're my cousin now. Yeah, discount. Super special once in a lifetime offer, only for you because we're cousins. Oh, that's your lucky day. once I'm done with the morning stuff. It's like going to the nail salon, special price just for you. I'm gonna have to trust that you're uh, you're telling the truth though. As I am not one to frequent nail salons. Not just because I don't get my nails done, but because m just uh, getting anywhere near one of those places gives me a headache. I don't know how people can spend more than a few minutes in there. Just the smell, man. It's just, I kind of get the same thing with paint or any, any sort of thing that has that strong smell to it. But I get it, it's it's on the topic of looking nice and if you genuinely enjoy it, like, it's fine. Don't get to go often, only on special occasions, it's too expensive. 
Yeah, I would imagine so. Well, I'm out of room. Guess I'll go sell. Uh, it's just the smell. Like, it's not the money thing for me. It's just the smell. Have a sensitive sense of smell. Right, it doesn't look like the fossils on this side. Oh. You know what? I think there's still one up on high ground. Peaches, peaches, peaches. Oh yeah, I need to keep some. Just in case there's crafting recipes. Nice. I suppose I should just do this while I'm at it. Easy thumbnail. <laughs> if I get lazy. I can do light- oh! Oh no. Okay, that's enough. Get it as a kid, you hated the cleaning aisle with too many different smells. I'm okay with the cleaning aisle. But if someone's cleaning with any of that stuff, yeah, I can. I definitely need air in the room. It sucks when I have to clean the house and I have to use some of that stuff. Now, I can't believe they have a rotary phone here. <laughs> Even that is, it's like, I think we had one, but it wasn't a functional one. It was just one. Yeah. I remember there being one, but everything was a digital one. You've used one? I don't think I've used one seriously. I've seen one! Just haven't used one for realsies. Just the ones with the, uh, the digital keypads. I guess it makes sense if, like, the phone is remote, I guess, in the middle of nowhere, and it's just a reliable piece of technology for being in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, there's a, there's a be a fun novelty to it.
It'd honestly be fun to watch someone that grew up with, like, cell phones try to use it. Alright, the only way to that island is with a vault. I think I have to swim to where he is. I don't think there's a direct way for me to get there because I don't have a ladder. up there, I can't get it. I already missed the music from New Leaf. Should be a oh. Okay. Might just pop in and just put away stuff. Me buying that stuff is more so it progresses the shop. Because you need to keep buying stuff. Mm. See, now I'm just going to put the lawn chair right next to the smoker. Just... Haha. -ha. I'm kidding, smoked meats and then a cold beverage. I mean, you can't see it because of this tree, but trust me, it's there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's there. Apparently that money tree didn't grow though. Okay, 
Okay, donations, and then I can go see what art is on sale. A pot. Uh, what do you use to craft it? Probably iron, which I can't afford to get rid of. Oh, it's just clay. Depends how much clay I have. Probably more than iron. The cop ladders. Okay, let's let's learn stuff. Dunkle, <laughs> Dunkle Osteus. Hey, Dunkle Osteus. Never thought I'd lay my eyes on such a well-preserved Dunkle Osteus. Okay, what have you got? The Dunkle Osteus flourished long before the dinosaurs and was a sort of armored fish. Curiously, only fossils for the fe head and shoulders have been found. We must simply imagine the rest. While its face was rather frightening, I like to picture a cute little tail and perhaps some fluffy paws on its fins. Such speculation is not scientific, of course, and essentially amounts to paleontologi paleontological fanfiction. Jeez. That's a word. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. Rest assured, all donations, da 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 da. Yeah. I feel like we've read about the Triceratops. Tricera. Let's see. As herbivores as herbivores go, the Triceratops was unusually well equipped for combat. What? Its three horns and impressive bony frill probably helped it fight off predators like the T-Rex. The frill may also have been involved in temperature regulation or else in attracting mates. Does it seem to you like virtually all distinctive dinosaur features were for body heat or attracting mates? And that is what I have to say about that. Go for it. I was hoping someone would bring me a Megacera Megacerops. This large fellow was a bit like our modern rhinoceros, but with two horns on its nose. Sadly, their small teeth restricted them to a diet of rather soft plants, and eventually they died out. I feel there is a valuable lesson to be had about learning to enjoy a variety of foods. And that is what I have to say about that. Okay. Oh, it's... Is this going to be the same? No, it's a different one. Megalosaurus was a relative of the deer that lived during the Ice Age long after the dinosaurs. It was also known... Okay. Which means deer with large horns. True to their name, they were deer with antlers spanning roughly 10 feet across, imagining the majesty. While smaller than many dinosaurs, they were nonetheless a very charismatic example of big fauna. And that is all I have to say about that. Okay. That's it.
Okay. Now I can go see the artwork. Change clothes. Hold on, what now? I guess I may as well go out into the ocean. Still a wrestler. I don't want you swim quickly unless you hold the button. Hold on, bubbles. I wasn't close to that. Ah, oh, I still got it. I gotta run into the stone errata. more of a may as well instead of going for it for real. Where is this back beach? Oh, there it is. Right, I'm gonna have to bring up the art guide. I choked. Come here. Data. What? <laughs> Unless you know classic art, how are you gonna know? I'm just being a smart buyer. You never had to do research on something before you bought it. I'm evening the playing field. Dude's a scam artist. I'm so glad you made it. Here's the pitch, ready? At Jolly Red's treasure trawler, we only sell the finest. There's nothing finer than rare furniture, am I right? Of course, I can't let all these things walk out the door. Gotta limit one art piece per day. It's a hassle, I know, but I hope the cousin's discount makes up for it. Plus, I'll let you buy all the furniture you want. No questions asked. So take a look around. Look at that wrestler. What is this? Is that... Shaved ice maker. I'll take it. Yeah, I can make shaved ice now.
Okay, um... Let me look at this art guide. There's some that are always genuine. Art guide, New Horizons. That's New Leaf, not New Horizon. Okay, that's the one. Okay, so with this one, the fake painting will be missing a sprout. This one's real. Yeah, that one's real. The thing is, if any of these other ones are real, that, this was the cool thing about this, is he could have multiple real ones per day. So if someone wanted any of the other ones, they could visit your island and buy it. I'm not sure if any of the other ones are real. But for now, I got a real one. You won't regret it. Yeah, that's that's something a trustworthy business person would say to the customer on the way out. Oh, you you don't get to take the thing you purchased just now. I'll send it to you. Don't worry, you won't regret it. Trust me. another file on the island so you can buy another. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> now I just need to find a scallop. Watching Gordon Ramsay shows has kind of ruined me, because it's just, no matter how many years pass, anytime he gets someone to cook for him, he always tests them with scallops, and the man's been just eating shitty scallops for <laughs> how many years now, and when I hear the word scallop, I just think of him yelling at someone for either cooking him to shit, where they're rubbery. Well, just did something going wrong, like they're raw. So it's a fine balance, is you you have to cook them the right amount. Otherwise they grow rubbery, and if you don't cook them enough, they're raw. I still got some room left. Still no scallop.
Oh. I don't have this. I couldn't kelp myself. Ha ha! Such a funny pun. it up. That wasn't moving. Yeah. It's that size, it's just... It needs to be more erratic in its movements. It usually doesn't take that long to find one. seaweed. I think that's it. Oh, two more. It's not a scallop. <laughs> this might seem weird, but I swear the plane was a different color. Am I not remembering it correctly? I swear I remember the plane being a different color, but it's probably been enough time that I'm just imagining it. Uh, seaweed. Oh no, we got... Apparently I hadn't donated that. Isn't it blue? That's what- see, I wanted to say isn't it blue, but mine's green. I'm not sure why. Did you know that the famed pearl oyster can live for 40 years and grow up to be a foot inside? Tis true, hootie hoo. Of course, this briny bivalve is best known for its precious gems it grows within. The pearl making process begins when an irritant gains access to the delicate insides of the oyster. The intruder is then covered with a layer upon layer of nacre, the same stuff substance used to create its shell. It takes years for the pearl to form, but in the end the irritant is rendered harmless. Ah, if only we all had the power to turn things that annoy us into things of beauty instead. We have fascinating stuff now. I swear I remember my plane being blue as well, but it's green here. Let it be known that seaweed is the misnomer of the highest order. That is, it is not a noxious weed so much as it is a marine algae most beneficial to life on land and sea. Seaweed, you see, provides essential habitat and food for all manner of marine creatures, and it creates a great deal of oxygen we land lovers love to breathe too. And yet I can't help but shudder when the slimy stuff touches my toes during a swim. Ugh, the horror. There you have it. Okay. Okay. 
I didn't want to say anything about the plane, but I, I kind of noticed it right away, but it's only now where I'm like, I swear I remember mine being a different color. I know it, <laughs> it wasn't green. Yours is yellow and blue. Okay. Maybe it, it changes with the seasons. That might be an explanation for it. It's probably a season thing. I don't think I ever experienced spring, as weird as that might sound. I'm still gonna look for the scallop. Skip the spring for them the cherry blossom DIYs. Ah. I've visited an island that was spring, but I never experienced spring on my island. I experienced summer and winter. From memory. Maybe a little bit of fall as well. be out here all day, but at the same time, I want the scallop. Seaweed. No, okay. Sucking gas. Still no scallop. What did I got? Ow. It's like a, I mean, it just means I can take more trips to look for villages, so... It's not like this is a complete waste of time. And it is earning me money. Oh, do I have you? I don't know if I've donated that. Hold on. I haven't donated this. Okay, noted. Let me see if there's something I've missed donating. I must have sold it. I'm doing this because I don't want to repeat a Stardew Valley here. Okay, Yellow Perch needs to be caught again. In the river. I need to go catch a Yellow Perch.
That one definitely got donated. Alright, what about here? Okay, so it's just the yellow patch, that's it, and this thing that I have. Too far away. I forgot to watch... Ah, I was going to watch the Sony thing, because Sony was going to announce a bunch of games as well. But I think they were all indie things. But I forgot to watch it. I was going to watch it during lunch. It's alright, I'll, I'll read the news afterwards. Today was just like a massive day of announcements for games. Still very happy about Paper Mario. Now all I need to do is do the same to the Nintendo 64 version and then that's two extremely expensive games I no longer have to try and acquire. Particularly Paper Mario 64, that game. Oh, it's a crab. Dun dun dun, Janice. <laughs> I like that one. No Animal Crossing. No, but you know what? It does add to the rumors. Because the rumor is they're remaking the GameCube Animal Crossing. And what makes it more plausible now is because now this is the third GameCube game consecutively that Nintendo is remaking. They remade Metro Prime 1. They've remade... Um, Paper Mario. Now, what's the other? There was one other. Oh, Pikmin, and the Pikmin games, which I guess were remasters. But still, like they seem to, instead of releasing the GameCube games on Nintendo Switch Online, that they, they seem to be remaking them instead, or remastering them. Am I gonna try Pikmin? Yeah, I will. I'm just waiting for the physical copy of the collection to come out, which is soon. It's just picking them up digitally, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not in any rush to try it. another one. Umbrella Octopus. Too bad I'm already soaked. But that's a lot of GameCube games that they have given the remaster remake treatment in the last year. And so if they were going to do something, I would imagine Animal Crossing is, a, is actually a really good choice. Oh, I got a pearl. And the, I, I would imagine they would have to modernize it a bit, but still. Yeah. 
we have one. <laughs> That's sad. Like, that would make people happy would be Wind Waker. But it's probably not going to happen. Paper Mario one is huge. Like, I know a lot of people that are very happy with that one. I recognized at the moment I saw the, the house. Some people recognized at the moment they saw the book. Like, that, that half second that that book was on screen, people lost their collective shit. I haven't played the game, but I recognized it right away. I was like, oh shit. That supposedly is one of the one of the better Paper Marios, like It just takes what 64 does and expanded upon it and made it so good. It's everyone wants Paper Mario to go back to that style. <laughs> Just ditch the gimmicks they try to do these days, because... I mean, the last one, it was fun, but it's just... The combat in the end. It was either a case of, oh, this is fine, or, oh, I, I really don't like this. The story of those games are always good, it's just the combat that's hit and miss. The Dungeness Crab wears a pretty fan-shaped shell that often done... That's often done up in purple hues. But eye-catching colors aside, this fellow can be surprisingly hard to spot. That's because the Dungeness Crab is somewhat of an expert hider. When scared, it plays a nifty trick. That is, it buries itself beneath the sand with impressive speed. Now you see me, now you don't. It says as it vanishes before your very eyes. And there you have it. Okay. Umbrella Octo. Go for it. My feathers, could there be more adorable sea creature than the Umbrella Octopus? I dare say not. These deep sea octopuses are on the smallish side, but use the cutest ear-like fins to flutter about. Meanwhile, it's the web stretch between their tentacles that gives them their name. It's true, with arms stretched wide, they... Look for all the world, like an umbrella. Though surely that's the last thing the umbrella octopus wants, is to stay dry. There you have it. Now just standard octo. With its eight limbs, three hearts, and surprisingly big brain, the octopus is quite the wonder. It is also an escape artist like no other. You see, the octopus has specialized skin cells that can change color and texture with lightning speed. Thus, it can look for all the world like a patch of seabed one minute and a pile of rocks the next. But the deception doesn't stop there, what what? When attacked by a predator, the octopus releases a cloud of ink and then poof, it makes it escape. Let's just call what the octopus is, shall we? A ninja of the deep. And there you have it. Usually I find the, uh, the scallop pretty quickly. It doesn't take multiple trips. I might take a break from it and just, uh... Go island hopping. I also need to... Put stuff away.
<laughs> I have a pile of money now. Okay. I mean, I guess I should pay off some of my loan. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. <laughs> I love using that machine. Not quite up to the point where I can buy music yet. Oh, wait, I can be, I can be, I can be. If I purchase that stereo... Unless it's a radio. Pretty sure it's an old tape deck. Alright, let's go look for villager number three. Again, I'm taking my time. I've already got one of the ones I really wanted. If I can find Scoot, I'll be really happy. Then, like, at that point, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, even my airport is green. Does everyone get, like, a random airport color? <laughs> that might also be... I don't know. Yeah, let's go. All right, fingers crossed. Whoa! Never seen you before, that's cool. Panda? Well, it's a bear, not a panda. It looks like a panda. Pinky. Welcome to my hypetastic island getaway. Okay, it's not my island, but it will be. I want to be a pop star, and all pop stars own islands. Say well from Chamberlain, a fab. I love meeting you folks, aka new fans. Hmm. Thinking about it. Just cool to see a new villager for me, but at the same time, not entirely convinced I want this villager. Pop star. Yeah, I'm not sure how what the personalities do, but a pop star.
I suppose it's it's no different than saying you want to be a streamer. There are a lot of kids that say that nowadays. Probably gonna pass on this villager. Like, I'm in no rush. Patience paid off last time. I got Alice. That was one I really did want. Best koala. Probably best Australian themed villager. shoved off too much to the left. No bottle? Guess not. Alright, I'm gonna look for the piece of furniture. I gotta keep picking weeds as well. Eventually I'll stop. Should probably let it sting me once so I learn the medicine, but I'll, it'll happen by accident at some point. All right, that was the furniture. What did I got? Cute DIY. Oh, I got a DIY table. Unless it doesn't actually function as a DIY table. But if it's a DIY thing, hell yeah. caught you. It's fine. Yeah, I gotta be careful here.
I think I'm at the point now where I don't have to worry too much about iron. I do need to chop more wood. The magical triple wood tree. gonna have to craft new axe. expecting this to break. I may as well make it. Wait, wood axe is not craftable? Why not? Yes, it is. I was on the wrong tab. And then stone axe. Okay. Well, time to leave. Yep. Roll the dice again on the villager. I want to be perfectly happy with my choices. Oh, it's raining here. Uh, I guess sell first. What's the day? Oh, pot. I remember pots. Um. Oh, you can. That's cool. Hell yeah. I can put that indoors and take the other one outside. Your airport is yellow too. I Yeah, I never remember seeing a green airport. That's the thing. Uh, 
I just thought, oh, maybe I'm not remembering correctly, but... The more I saw it, the more it bothered me. I was like, no, I swear my airport was not green. I'm convinced it's a season thing. Okay, uh... No, 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 not the table. Pot. Uh, pot. That. That. That, that. That, and that. Holy shit. Good money. Yeah, I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take this. That's cool, I have a better crafting table now. Now something that actually fits. Yeah, nice. Oh, we got... Yeah, we got good stuff now. This is garden table. I can make a real bed. <laughs> yeah, ha ha. I don't think it screams out like good interior decoration. I think I'm fine. Oh, I forgot to put the wood away. How'd I get that? It's a ah, oh, it's a recipe I found randomly. that it's like a motorcycle helmet. Yeah, ha ha! It's probably a spring recipe. If I was to take a guess. Okay, well... I'm gonna place... This here. Then there's something in proximity of, uh... Of the dock. I need to make bait. It's it's there. Yay. If I find another one, I can... make a pair of boots. 
I appreciate what they did with garbage here. It's a loach. Oh. Okay. Well. Branch. Thank you. Forgot where I put my other crafting thing. It's over here somewhere. There it is. the fish that I did not get. It turned around the moment it landed. It's a little one, so I just gotta keep going for the little ones. What? Alright, I mean, I can always do this later. <laughs> I should go back to looking for villagers. Last fish. Okay. Thanks. Garbage. Alright, well, at least that's another ticket. Others, I am here to donate a new kind of fish. It's a circular fish. Tell me about the loach. Oh, because there are so many species, it's difficult to generalize about all of them. The one thing they all have in common is perhaps their most unappealing trait, the name, the loach. Repellent, isn't it? They should have just called it the cock loach. The cock loach, really? And be done with it? That just sounds worse. Loach? Loach? It just tastes terrible in the beak. There you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Yeah, that just doesn't... that sounds less. <laughs> yeah, haha, exactly. I got this mask and new leaf as well. Yeah. <laughs> Mo. 
almost done with the video I'm making for like the Zelda stuff as well. I just need to put the footage against me talking and then A done. Does it help you find Koroks? No. Okay, let's go on another trip to an, an island. Hopefully, I'll come across some village I want. I still haven't come across an island that gives, um, bamboo yet. I need to get it because there's all that spring bamboo stuff. Did I just get another bear? Did I get the same? No, it's a different bear. Oh. <laughs> Tutu. Bad to meet you, I'm Tutu. You're visiting from another island. Chamblonia, wow, that's a big trip to just come out and hang with me on this little island. Let's get to know each other while I'm here, Twinkles. That, that just looks like a stuffed animal. There are a lot of bears today. I thought for a second I got the same one again. It looked very similar. The odds of that happening are quite low. Hmm, three big fish. Interesting.
I mean, I don't mind. If I don't find the villager, it's just... There's still resources to be guarded and... I thought there's usually three rocks here. Ah, oh, it's up there. <laughs> okay. Well, that's alright. Hey, Alex, how's it going? I thought... At least once a day when you visit these islands, they give you a bottle. I haven't seen one today. Hello? Bottle? No bottle. Hmm. Okay. I'll just find the furniture and go to the next island. I think I'm all good for wood right now. If they didn't take up so much space, I'd probably do something with it. Yes. Oh, that's why. I'm like, it feels late, and it is late. It's like 11.30. PM, not AM, like the clock says. This week's been very long. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's like... I think it's the same as the Papa Bear.
Let's go again. <laughs> Wonder if it's gonna be another bear. I'm running out of miles. <laughs> Still haven't found a villager that I'm like, oh, I definitely want that. It's okay. I don't think it's going to give me a rare island. <laughs> I got one pretty much immediately the first time I played this. I got the... The island with the, uh, the bamboo. It's a f ooh. I might take this fox. I didn't expect anyone to see on this island. I'm Audi. They're from Shambolonia. Shambol I've totes out of someone trade call from there. I think I'm gonna take you. You look happy. Happy fox. <laughs> Para celebrity on this island. I'm a another celebrity personality, but that's fine. All right. <laughs> the only thing better than kicking back and chilling on an island would be to do it forever. Spending time on the island is the best way to find your inner calm. And hug it as hard as you can. If I lived on an island, Foxtrot, I'd be the calmest, most relaxed wolf, wolf pop star you'd met. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is more exciting than a fifth cup of coffee. You live on Tramblania, right? This is so weird, I legit applied to move there a while back. What a crazy coinkadink, Foxtrot. We're going to hang out all the time once I start living on Tramblania. Alright. I think the three that I got are pretty good. I like them all visually. Yeah, I'm happy. Thank you. 
Now I just need to go home and I guess plan the layout of the town. Shovel's probably gonna break. I still think I should look for... Ooh, be careful. Don't want my new villager in the crossfire of, like, the wasp. Did the fox say? Yeah, you know what? The fox said, hey, I'm going to Will's town. I like how the fox looks visually. money. Yeah, that's the three villages now. Now I just gotta go home and lay out the town. I'm happy with my choices. Oh, well, there goes that. She has such a nice, bright color palette. We'll complement the, the, the blue cow that I got. Yeah, look at her.
Okay. Better than Megillah, yeah. Better, honestly, better than the two villages I have right now. All three of the villages I'm getting, I'm good. I'm good with them. another fossil. I forgot that islands give give you fossils as well. Intercom monitor. Actually, had to commit to this. This took forever the first time around. But the first time around, there was a pandemic. <laughs> it honestly made time pass. So I'll make adjustments as I go. I just want to plan, I guess, how the houses are going to go. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, 
Okay. No, not that. <laughs> yeah. I'll figure out how it's going to look eventually, but for now, it's going to be super rough. Eventually, I'll make it blend in properly. a long way to go. It also shows the trees that I need to get rid of, but I probably should have seen if they were fruit trees or not. Probably need to make a new slingshot soon. A mountain bike. <laughs> This more or less makes sense. Okay. Display on the ground. Display on the ground. This might... Well, let's see. It might look bad if it's too close. Eh, actually, it's not bad. It goes under. That's fine. The 
it's dirt right now, but eventually I'll make it into something better. No, not that. Work in progress, uh. It's one of these things where I just trust the system. Eventually it'll be something. Trust the process. Trust the system. Trust the process. Does let me do this, right? Yeah, it does. The most placeholder of placeholders. end up like a time lapse or something. I think this is what makes this what I like more in this game over New Life is just being able to do this to your island. Or town. Let's just lay it out and make it look like something. I don't want to wear it. Yes, let me wear my dirt design. Interactable. Alright. Right, so I need to figure out Okay, so this is a house. I 
the house didn't quite line up as how I wanted it to. It's fine, I just need to figure it out. This isn't where it's going to turn, necessarily. So I want to give these enough of a front yard. I guess they don't have backyards, which is a bit weird. thinking about it. Okay, but if I'm doing this, I guess... Hang on. I think I know how this is going to work. Okay. Let me just count how many. Alright, so from the front door... One... Two... Three... Four... Six. All right, so then... Here, another balloon. There goes Slingshot. All right, I need to go make one before another one turns up. I forget how you make a slingshot. Hardwood, okay. on the wall, right? I don't know what I just hung on the wall. <laughs> go, go team. <laughs> Whatever that is. Go sports. Probably a bit too high. Okay, back to this.
rechnen, das ist 6, ja. Okay, and then this should be where the house is, more or less. Which means this tree needs to go. But I don't have a shovel. I need to build a shovel. It looks like Attack on Titan with the pennant. Pretty sure like a shovel is just wood. But just in case I'll get all this stuff. The flag, yeah. That still hasn't ended. Like, they've been on the last season for so long. It annoyed me, so I stopped watching them. Like, just when it's whenever it's ready to have all the episodes, and I'll watch it. But it's been on its, its last season for the past few years. It's to the point where they've, like, started subdividing the parts. Like, the final season, part two, part three. Yeah, I'd rather wait as well, Karen. I like that's why I'm enjoying One Piece thoroughly because at no point am I like, oh man, I gotta wait. Just step back a couple more units. Is this tree gonna be in the way? No, that more or less correct, I think. I've got a while till I get to that point. Yeah, i got at least another 150 episodes. My phone is ringing. Hello, is that you, Will? Yes, yes, Tom Nook. I go to your search for housing loan. Got some ideas. Stupendous. I'm relieved to hear that everything's going to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot. It'll show you the required items for that plot. The interior items should be placed in the box. The exterior should be placed outside around the plot. I want to make it look nice and decorative. Okay. Alright, so that's... My guide. That's my guide. Okay, and now... I mean, this is just going to be a rough estimate now, but now I want... I mean, I guess the other house would be here, but I feel like, yeah, these are fruit trees. I need to move them. Like, there'd be a house here, and another house here, and that's effectively the neighborhood. Okay. I need to move a couple trees I need to eat. Drop. I don't know if that's enough. I'll bring him with me. Okay. Mm 
hoping that's enough. I may have to move this one as well. Alright, so... You know what? All these trees are going. Well, I was right. They are fruit trees. Okay, so from the same point... just need to make sure that it's going to be hard for me to see. Hang on, I need a guide. Okay. Right, so drop guide about here. Yeah, that's about correct. All right. I hear another balloon. Okay, it's on its way in. Broom and dustpan. <laughs> Unfortunate. It might be a bit too close. And that's way too high up. I mean, it's fine if they're close together. Yeah, it's fine. They can be close neighbors. I'm gonna laugh if I have to move it back one. <laughs> oh no! Ooh. I think I need to move it back one. Guide may have, guide may have failed me. There's no way I can... I can move it, I don't think. I guess it depends. If that means the back of the house, then I'm fine. If it doesn't, then I'm screwed. It's gonna bother me how much it's off by. Okay, this tree's gotta go. So this one is just a number that's got to line up, which is easier to imagine. That is correct, I just need to get rid of the tree. Okay, so... So I know where to stand. Okay.
All right. Hang on. That's correct, that's correct. The little landscaping refers to the twig. We are concerned though, that's fine. something important so you'll need to get a wreath made from flowers i already set up a recipe for the ladder okay cool ladder incoming i can get rid of these this is this house is gonna be annoying unfortunately i built it one too far forward maybe it'll be fine but i'm probably gonna have to move it ultimately Get being off by one will bother me. At least these these are fine. These are in line. Okay, and now I probably shouldn't plant it until the house is done. So let me move these elsewhere. now. I will probably have to move them again. That's a start. Alright, what do I need to gather from each one? Interior items. Wooden simple bed, wooden chair, classic picture. Okay, wooden simple bed, wooden simple chair, classic picture. Just stuff into my move. Okay. Wooden simple bed. And I think it said wooden chair. I may have added the word simple. <laughs> Classic picture. That one. Okay, I'll do the interior items first. Huh? 
Okay, it's not done. Wooden stereo, or block stereo block table wreath. Lily wreath. Ooh, that's not good. Peach chair, peach surprise box pot. Can I even make that? Oh, no, I can. Uh, okay. That's problematic. I can't make... I can't finish this one. Oh, wait, no, but with the ladder I should be able to. With the ladder I should be able to. There's more peaches to harvest. block stereo what's required wooden block toy okay stereo table oh, i need another toy Then the other thing was Lily Wreath, I believe. I should be able to just pull this off. Oh. Huh. That's funny. Now I understand what this thing is. Oh, it's just a pot that's easy. So what's the walls? Oh, it's exterior, actually. Log garden stool. Log lounge, log stump, water pump. Log stool, water pump. Jeez, what am I reading? Lounge, stool, pump. And then I need a pot as well. Lounge. 
Hot. Guess if it's as long as it's within the area, it doesn't have to be placed well, it just has to be placed. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what's... I mean, that should be considered the land. Maybe let me just move it one in, just in case. Alright, for now. I'll figure this out later. Natural garden chair, natural garden table, bird bar. Okay, chair, table, bird bar. Hay, swing, bench, barrel. Okay. I think I can make all that. Ooh, the hay thing might be a problem. We'll see. That's fine, it's only 20. Uh, the barrel. The swinging bench. Natural garden table and chair, both of these. Uh, wait, what was the last item? Bird bar. Okay, so all that's left is just I just gotta get the stuff from the cliffs. I'll sort out the mess of uh, where items go once the houses are built. Right now it's just placing them, so at least it's done. Bird bar. Um, table, I guess just place it here. Wait, that's barrel. Where's the table? <laughs> Alright, and then... As long as it's in the general area. We'll make it look good once they move in. Okay, now this one's probably going to be a bit tricky. Because it's got like this massive swing. Right, I'll put that sideways. On the side of the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
then I'll just put the others here. Okay, barrel, that'll do, and hay bed, another sideways item. Alright, good enough. Now I just need to get peaches and lilies. I'll not bother with the cleanup just yet. I'm not sure how many I need. I'll just get like 10 or so. No, nine, actually. Okay, I need one more yellow. That should hopefully do. Uh, peach trees, please tell me I have peaches. Otherwise, I may have to resort to go to an island, which is not the worst idea. Oh, there's an orange one up here. Does not look like I have any trees up here. Okay, I'm gonna have to go on an island trip. That's fine. Had fruits this morning. Yep, three, three, three. Okay, so all that's missing now is just the peaches. Ah, oh, it's not this one. Wait a minute. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's all done. Then it's just the peach thing. Alright, let's just go to an island and then I can finish it up. What do I need? Hold on. Wood. Okay. That's fine. Everything else can be put away. Keep these. I just need to get another 
seven at least. It should be fine. I have the ladder now. I'm gonna laugh if I go to an island and <laughs> it's one of the the rare ones where you don't get peaches. Of course, it's gonna happen. It's okay. Can't happen to me twice in a row. It's very unlikely. Ah, uh, well, hello, hello. How's how it goes? Uh, progressing nicely with the plots and the homes and furnishings, what and whatnot. It's going smoothly. Wonderful. That's what I like to hear. As you finish your part, I'll get started on home construction and welcoming our new residents. I vow to get this done quickly and get it done right. Why, if all goes well, we could have someone in the new home as soon as tomorrow. By the way, I plan on letting the island folks know about moving in or out during my broadcast. However, once I know who will move into a certain home, I'll post up the sign info on that plot. If you're curious, check out the signs. Anywho, keep up the good work. Alright. Please be, be a normal island. <laughs> Probably the only time I'm going to say that. <sighs> okay. Use this, please. Please be a normal island. Oh, mm, mm. oh no. No, they, okay, there's peach. Okay, as long as there's peaches. The funny thing is, they're on high ground, so if I didn't get the ladder, I would have been screwed. On nine now? Wait. No, eight. I'm on eight. <laughs> ah! <laughs> am, I too, am I too short? Oh, please tell me that's a peach tree up there. Oh, okay, it's fine. Just, just enough. Hey! Okay. Everything is fine. I'll take advantage of this. I 
I've already got on that. So I'm not concerned about it. Really? I was too slow? Okay. I think I'm two more away from crafting the gigantic mask. Okay, well, all that's left is the furniture and the fruit. What are the fruits left? Oh, I had to step. Okay, that's fine. Done here. Oh, wait, there's one more rock. Ooh, this is kind of an awkward one. I have to align myself. Ah, I messed it up. I missed that on one. Okay, time to go. done. All the home and furnishings are done. Okay, first, let me do the fossils thing. Oh, I'm 
Alright, let's learn stuff. New ones. Ammonites were creatures that lived before and all the way through the age of the dinosaurs. Because different species lived at different times, their shells are sometimes used as index fossils. In other words, these creatures act as markers in time, helping to identify the age of the other form age of other formations. Who knows what other secrets lie in those spiral shells? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff now. Hey. It's oversensitive D-pad. Okay. The Australopith, thought to be one of the links between humans and apes, emerged four million years ago. They lived long ago, even before the ancestors of modern humans. So there are, there are profound differences. Even so, it seems to me that you can see the beginnings of greatness here. Okay, last one. Ah yes, Dimitrodon, not actually a dinosaur, despite what some people may tell you. This reptile, not dinosaur, is famous for the large sail-like organ on its back. Said organ was likely useful in regulating its non-dinosaur body temperature. Reptiles are known to be cold-blooded, but there is some debate as to whether dinosaurs were too. Dimitrodon assuredly was. And that is what I have to say about that. Okay. That'll do. The important thing is... Okay, I mean, placeholders aside, I need to continue laying out path. But probably not today. I'm worried that house on the far right is going to be one... One tile just off. I'm going to have to fix it later. Everything's finished. Goodness, really? Thank you so much for all your hard work. Now to hurry with the rest of the construction and welcome residents to their homes. And that's that, my friend. You have finished everything I asked of you. Ah, let me give you a token of my appreciation as promised. Yes, yes, this is for you. Fencing. It's some fencing. You could surround your home to create a yard or surround some flowers to make a garden. Fencing should make it easy to create yards or parks or outdoor areas. I'm positive this will lead to some interesting new landscaping scenes here on Chamblania. I'm thinking 50 pieces of simple wood fencing should give you an excellent start. In the future I'll offer DIY fencing recipes you can get by redeeming Nook Miles. The selection will change daily, we'll offer a variety of designs. Yeah. I have to get started on making a skeleton of what I want things to look like. But I'm not feeling that today. At the very least, the houses are placed. Going out to a doctor's appointment. Alright, no worries, Colorin. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. I think I'm pretty much done here anyway. Okay, so who's moving in here? Alice. Forty. And Stu, cool. Alright. Got there in the end. 
All right. Cool. Honestly, it didn't take as many flights as I thought it, it would to find villages I wanted, so... I'm very happy about Alice, because I was the only one I wanted. It's probably the best Australian-themed one. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. It's, like, almost 1am here, so... I think I'm just gonna go chill and watch a movie or something before bed. But, uh, yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and... If you want to support the channel, just remember, click buttons and stuff, uh, like that like button. It does help out a lot, thank you to those that do do that, uh, yeah. And also, if you want to watch me play something else, I'm sure two other of my videos have popped up, so hope you check them out. But, until next time, bye YouTube.